Hey guys, Ryan McKenzie here. I am uh, I'm doing a quick review of the Anchor Gym Fitness Bar. They uh, they mailed it to me. Priority shipping, two day mail. So this is like got here quick when I ordered it, and um, it's actually a really small package. So it's um, supposed to be a really long bar. I'm opening it up, kind of like an unboxing, so you can see what it's like, and I'll give you my honest review as we open this thing up. So let's get to it. Um, I've already kind of cut the tape here. So uh... all right, so this is kind of cool. Uh, Handwritten note, thanks for ordering this. I don't say that for everybody, but they must like me, so that's cool. Paul, you're the man. Um, instructions, thing I can scan to know how exercises and stuff on this guy, so that's neat. Um, let's get right to the good stuff. The actual bar itself, packaging, minimal. Protective, so don't get scratched. We got two bars separate. I'm guessing we hook these together. All right, so I've had a couple bars like this before, fitness bars. And I, I like using them a lot. One of my favorite exercises, I'll do a video with this guy. Um, it's like a long, I call it a long bar press where the bar's out here and one attachment point is hooked and you press against it, so it drags you one way, you gotta fight against it and hold on to it. Um, so right away, the construction seems pretty solid. They have these little neat little hooks on both sides. This is like uh, where you normally would attach your bands to it. Uh, I'm curious, to be honest, it doesn't swivel. So I'm wondering what that's going to be like, if that's going to be an issue with some of the rotational stuff that I like to do, pulls and chops, lifts and chops. Um, I wonder how that's going to play out, but we'll, we'll see that out. And they get this neat little hook here, which looks like it can handle some more weight. I've always been concerned on the ones that do swivel. Once you start doing some heavy pressing, it kind of seems like it gets weaker and wobbles around a little weirdly, right? Uh, weirdly? Yeah, anyway. Um, but this hook is like, I mean, that thing is, is solid. So... You can kind of see there what that looks like. Um, kind of neat, different options. So we'll see how it comes together. Um, this thing comes off. There's some pad on it. It looks decent quality foam, nothing crazy. Um, I don't know that I personally use the foam pads as much, but some of my clients do like it. And this looks like, well, so I do like this. That's a really long um, bolt there. And it looks like it goes in pretty flush. Yeah. I like that it's long because I don't want this thing to come, if it starts to come loose at all, some of these things do. I've had ones before that I bought cheap ones, you know, and it's like all of a sudden they come apart. That's no good. Um, so I like that this thing actually, now the trick is, are these going to line up when I screw them together or is there a magic way to screw it? Let's see, Anchor Jam, did you do your homework? Ooh. Ooh, look at that, right down the barrel. Boom. Okay, it's lined up. That's cool. So... I didn't have to do anything but put it on and hook it in and that's great for any kind of like a wide chest press any kind of chop and lift I'll, i like the feel of the grips i normally don't really care much for like the rubber foam padding on it but this seems really quality and like i said i want to test out these uh these end loops here with some different stuff and see how much weight these things can actually handle uh, on the hooks but overall the feel Getting out of the box, ready to use in under three minutes. Uh, I could do faster if I really wanted. wasn't talking to you guys. And um, it's, it looks like a pretty solid piece of equipment. We'll go to the gym now and we will uh, we'll get some workouts going. What do you say? Let's do it.